All right, so I'm going to share another tip that might be helpful for educators in terms of getting students to actually see the content that you want them to see. Uh, and maybe they're watching a particular video, but then there's another video that could actually help them out. Uh, and so uh, because it connects. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find one on how to add an image with the explore feature. And then the one up above that is images with vector PNG search. So they, they relate to each other. So what I have the ability to do is I can uh, go ahead and edit this actual video. I'm gonna go into the editor and I'm actually going to use this last element uh, track and I'm going to choose a template. And I'm actually going to choose this one. One video, one subscribe. Um, you, there's lots of options here. Uh, but I'm going to choose this first one. And what it will do is it will actually, the default, it appears as though it's about, uh, I don't know, about 15 seconds or so. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to select this and I'm actually going to have it... Um, be as little as possible just because it's only a one minute video. And so what happens is uh, a related video will pop up here. Here's my uh, channel here. But what I will do is I'll come in here and I'll choose a specific video that I want to connect it to. Uh, so if they want to learn more about how to do something, uh, this now in fact will show up. So if I come here, hit play. Uh, oops, I didn't mean to do that. If I actually come in here and you'll see that this pops up to help. Um, it's like a related uh, video. So that's just um, something called uh, cards, I believe, or element. Um, but uh, it's something that you can add at the end of your video. Not a needed thing, not a necessary thing, but just a good to know thing.